Hey y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka and I'm getting ready to bring you just some random messages, okay? I just feel like jumping on talking to y'all today. All right, now y'all already know how this works. Flip the roles as you see fit. Take only what you need, leave the rest. Please use the spirit of discernment as you're viewing this video. Um, don't force anything to fit. These are collective messages. However, if you are cross-watching, take it as if I'm speaking directly to you. Um, you guys, I'm going to set my intentions real quick then. I'm going to just dive on in. One card already started coming out, but it's the world card, y'all. So <laughs> you're going to have a very happy ending, okay? Now, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guys, for helping me with this collective Virgo reading. Protect us as we go through these spiritual streets to commune with you close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will and so it is so things are going to come full circle for you okay so you can see the world card you've been doing a lot um especially when it comes to your life purpose it's like you are evolving you're growing um spiritually you're gaining insight and all okay so this is why you're able or you're you're getting so close to that point of achieving whatever this goal is that you may have in mind okay now i got the two of michaels that came out here i'm gonna show y'all so there's some type of decision that has to be made but the thing is, every, it's just like everything will be better if you just make a decision. <laughs> this is what's been coming out the last couple of days, right, for you guys. And it's so funny because I can just hear like one of my guys saying, look, just make a decision. Everything is going to be better if you just make the decision. God dang it. You're overanalyzing uh, this problem, right? Try to find a way to compromise or something here when it comes to this. But a decision has to be made. And then it says, Queen of Michael, you know exactly what you need to do. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Come on, I, I'm hearing you're brilliant. You know exactly what to, you need to do. Listen to your insight. This is what you've been gaining um, over the last what a few months for some of you, the last year, I say two, 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 you know, years for some of you. But however, this is about your spiritual growth at this point. So yeah, I'm gonna pull tarot on that, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna pull tarot on that too with Michael T because y'all like, it's like we know what to do. I'm a Virgo sign too, but at the same time, there must be still something else that needs to be done, right? Because some of us are definitely like closing out some cycles here, but you got to remember everything happens for a reason, okay? So, however, Five of Raphael comes out, this reminds me of the Five of Pentacles. It says, release the regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Okay, so search for the silver lining in your situation. Search for the silver lining in your situation. I feel like I want to pull from here. What is it that Virgo is overanalyzing? Three cards came out. here it says do what you love this reminds me of um what is this hmm i was gonna say this reminds me of the three of pentacles but really it doesn't so but it just says do what you love okay you're gonna get recognition for your work your creative endeavors okay you're gonna be paid well for your craft Okay, you work well with others and all, you have an excellent reputation. So you have to stop overanalyzing this and do what you love. You planted these seeds. And what I was coming with, the first thing that came to my mind is like somebody must be wanting to take a leap of faith and leave a job is what I'm hearing. You may want to do something um, full time in your self-employment or your entrepreneurship or your life purpose, whatever that is, you may be wanting to do that full time and you could be overanalyzing it <laughs> and not doing it, right? Why? Because you got to live, right? You you may be used to a certain income um, coming in. Um, it's just a, it's a, it's a big leap. You have to really have a lot of faith when making this leap but with the balance card coming out it's, it's clearly just saying like hey we got you we're balancing out this situation 
with you to help you so that you can be able to pursue your passion, right? Mm. This is about patience. It's about balance um, as well. And it does take some time, but it's saying the seeds that you planted, you've planted well. So even with this one, this reminds me of the seven of pentacles. This is, I have no idea. It's the seven of, of earth or air or whatever. I'm not sure. <laughs> right? It just got the number seven on there and a leaf. But however, it says you planted your seeds well. So the efforts or your investments, they will be rewarded in the future. You just have to have some patience um, and continue to follow your passion, con continue to follow your heart. But however, continue planning for your future, okay? Because overall, what I'm seeing here is that once you stop overanalyzing this next step that you need to take, you know, then you're going to start to see the manifestation of some things come through. Even if things may have ended badly for you in a situation that could be relating to work or a situation relating to love, um, try to see the silver lining in this and try not to hold on to anything so that you can continue to what manifest. So there is some type of worry that I'm feeling that you may be feeling. So my spirit team is like, it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary worry. You're going to have a very happy ending. Things are going to come full circle, but you're being encouraged to follow your heart. Okay, follow your passion. Tell me about the two of Michael's here as well. Give it to me through traditional tarot. Mm. Look, and it still is like it's unnecessary. Worry, release the worry. The nine of swords is in the reverse position. Okay, you will overcome this. All right, this is straight like this. It's a challenge that you're going through right now. Okay, whatever the first thing that comes to mind, this is what it is. Um, stay determined here and continue to take action here because you will overcome this. Okay, it, it requires strong ambition. All right, yep, look at this. Five of pentacles in a reverse position. So whatever you're going through right now, those difficult times are going to come to an end. So find your hope, find your peace is what I heard. Um, and, and just kind of try to remain um, patient because, patient because um, the divine is working behind the scenes to bring balance to your situation. You have to move into a state of trust, but things are going to come full circle for you. Okay, whether you lost a job or you're going through something with your finances, if you're just worrying that you will hit hard times, you know, sometimes when it's hard to take that leap of faith to quit a job um, or to start, you know, self-employment sometimes because it's like, what's going to happen, right? I may not make enough money to cover my bills or, or things like that, but that's literally what I'm hearing. It's like it's a like it's a lack mindset when you put that energy, that worry energy into um, something that hasn't even taken place yet and, and you're being guided, you're intuitively being guided to take that leap, okay? So this is messages that are coming from the divine. So they're like, look, trust it, trust us. We got your back, okay? Um, we got your back, okay? But usually it's like, it's a fear. A fear is what tells us like, uh, you know, I may lose something. This may not work out. You know, that's our ego that kicks in and starts to speak and say, hey, you may not have enough, okay? But what I'm hearing is like, you will have more than enough. The world is your oyster, okay? So, wow. <clears throat> Tell me about this, do what you love. Eight of Wands in the reverse. So there's some type of misunderstanding or it feels like you're not progressing here. Eight of Wands in the reverse position comes out. So whatever the delays may be, again, look, here go that temperance card. You got the balance card that came out in my other um, Archangel Tarot deck. But hey, look, there's gonna it's going to require patience, but it's happening. And even here with the Seven of Swords coming out, when it comes to what you really want to do, I'm going to pull on that Seven of Swords. You know, it could be, it could be you... Got one foot in and one foot out. 
you know how it is it's like when i look at her i see her like it looks like a corporate building or something it's like one foot is at the in in, in the work world and the other foot is like <laughs> hitting the pavement ready to run and take off and follow your passion okay but what i'm saying is like whatever it is it, it could be you wearing some type of mask or um, some type of self-deceit or could be some type of manipulation that's taking place but I'll pull to see what that's about here with the two of wands coming out you know keep planning because this is about the long term all right this is how you're going to get to your legacy here with the queen of swords in a reverse position don't allow your emotions to control you okay set the emotions to the side and view things with logic and clarity um, but however tell me about the seven of swords here And it's like, I, I feel like you have some type of opportunity here right now. Some type of opportunity to do something, but you're not sure. Mm -hmm. King of Pentacles energy comes out. So whatever that may be, it's like, it's about your long-term goal. And it'll put you in that King of Pentacles energy. Even if you're a woman, it just puts you in that energy here where you're going to be able to provide, period. You'll be financially secure. Um, and this is also probably about partnership too. I'm not going to say probably, but it is because I got the three of pentacles that's coming out. So it's somebody here that you should be working with that's going to help you with this. This is like they are part of your life purpose. Okay, they're masculine energy, king of pentacles type energy. So that person may be a great partner, a great parent. Um, and all they may have their money together they may plan well they may budget and all that other stuff is what i'm hearing they're very stable when it comes to this but they're slow to kind of commit to this situation here that you got going on all right this person I, what i'm hearing I, I just heard life partner like this person it may be your twin okay usually a lot of times with my virgos we a lot of us are um, connected to a higher level soulmate and we're supposed to be fulfilling our life purpose with this person right they're part of that um that story but however that's not for everybody but for the most part that's what i'm saying it's like you guys share the same goals and you are supposed to be working collectively together here okay but it's some things that's going on here between you two um that need to be sorted out is what i heard page of swords is in the upright position as well it's some stuff that needs to be said and it needs to just come out and you need to be straightforward okay here what don't be the queen of swords in reverse <laughs> be the queen of swords in the upright assertive direct you know what i'm saying not argumentative and defensive but coming straight forward and communicating whatever these ideas are that you may have okay here even with the queen of cups in the reverse you're highly intuitive but if you're in the reverse position it's coming out um being again it's some type of emotion that could be behind it that could be blocking you in your intuition when it comes to this okay um or overly emotional and sometimes that's codependent energy and things of that nature but however ace of wands in the reverse yeah it's because whatever the trials and tribulations that you guys may have came up across and it could be a third party situation you know that could be um somebody that this king of pentacles here in your life is connected to okay so um that i feel like is the reason why you aren't making certain decisions any longer because you were following your heart and a lot of this energy feels like it's getting ready to come out again it came out in yesterday's reading if you missed that check that out i, I dropped that last night but um that was basically about uh stop depriving yourself of love right because of the situation it's like because of how you see this person may be coming in and out and and still you're still looking at them sideways so you're being very guarded to work with them it's like you work you you're letting them in but at the same time you're closing yourself off right so and this is what i'm still kind of picking up here now in this energy here so with that person um you're you're being guided to you know take some type of chance Okay, I feel like you both are mirroring each other's energy at this time um, when it comes to how you guys feel. Okay, but um, you're being told to keep planning. Yep, four cups in the reverse come out of that energy because you may be at this point where you're over it but this is a period of recovery a period of awakening so a lot of things have been brought to the light is what i'm seeing a lot of a lot of how can i say it? epiphanies i can't even get it out 
okay a lot of epiphanies and it's self-doubt strength card in the reverse so you may have some type of self-doubt when it comes to working with this person here um because of the nature of you guys connection and how things may have played out in the past okay but if this person is <laughs> look if this person is you know someone that you definitely got a lot of love for you're being it's, it's really confirming that you'll have a happy ending. Things will come full circle. But what you are experiencing is a part of your spiritual growth because this is a part of your life purpose. All right, you've planted seeds. You invested into the situation. And even though you may not see, you're not seeing um, what you want to see at this moment. Even with that patience card that came out, the temperance card. Be patient, right? Balance is happening um, behind the scenes. Try to see the silver lining in this. Oh, snap. The store. <laughs> Lilies and storks. I'm getting ready to see what that's about. All right. I don't know if somebody pregnant or what is happening over here. Okay. Hold on a second. My son is coming out talking. But, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to look in the book real quick and see what that's about. Um, the stork is the birth of something. Okay, the birth, it says birth is the sudden opening of a window. So the stork card means the arrival of an important development. Okay, so yeah, the stork usually brings what? A baby. This could literally symbolize an actual birth of a baby. It can also symbolize the arrival of major changes in er other areas of your life. These changes are usually positive ones that result from a long, laborious period of careful planning rather than from mere luck. The stork card symbolizes productivity and movement movement forward towards tangible results. Wow. So this is the beginning of a new season and transformation. This card also represents reliable people in your life who bring assistance and gifts represented by the eggs. And that's what I'm seeing this person as. It's like this person may have not been reliable before, but they're coming in as a king of pentacles now. Whew. I know y'all. And with the lilies, it says, um, it's traditional bonds, wisdom, and experience. It relates to ideas, status, and reputation passed down through heritage and, le and legacies and ancestry. Um, this is a symbol of virtue. Wow. It's regal or holy, harmony, sexuality, purity. Wow. What you guys have, come on. It's regal. It's holy. Wow. I know, right? I'm like, wow. Tell me about this stork card. I got to hurry up because my phone will be running out of space. Tell me about the stork card. Look, that king of cups. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you. Queen of wands. Look what you birthed in. You coming in strong, goal oriented, getting it done, finding solutions. Like you sitting on your throne right now, you sitting pretty, right? You you making it happen, and that's what's what's going on here. It's like you're birthing some new stuff. You're you're creating this or co-creating this new beginning and this new path for yourself right now, right? And even though this person is coming out as a king of wands in a reverse position, like I was telling y'all, like they are opposite of you. Okay, so again, they weren't as how can I say, um, committed, but you're committed to this journey. That's why I see you as, you know, the lilies. It's like, shoot, you're regal. Like, but together, that's what you are creating here with the world card coming in the reverse. Things weren't coming full circle. You understand? And that's why I keep hearing everything happens for a reason. But this was the reason because this is about your legacy. Okay, here with the strength card coming in, somebody's coming in with the strength or the confidence or the courage here to um to do what here in my spirit team. To recognize you. Somebody's becoming very clear, very clear about something here. Look at that. So there may have was a baby that came out of your situation. Okay, even if it, if it wasn't, if you didn't birth this child, your person here may have gotten someone pregnant. I got an empress in a reverse position. But it's like they're very clear now. Here, Queen, Queen of Pentacles coming in. This reminds me of Virgo. Okay, and it's like they were stuck. They're stuck between 
um, you and this person or it's shoot, it could be more than one. You know how we be thinking a karmic may be one person and karmic could be several people, but they were stuck, not transitioning, not moving forward, not making certain decisions here um, is what I'm seeing. But it's like with that moon card in the reverse, I'm still seeing some type of clarity, but there's still some type of fear, right? But overall, mm -hmm, they weren't given to you, okay? They were breadcrumbing you. And you may have felt like you were going to be left in the cold with this situation here. But what, what is coming out of this is alignment. That's what I just heard. What's coming out of this is alignment. The chariot card is in the reverse position. The queen of swords and the next to the three of um, the uh, three of pentacles. So it was almost like this energy of at one time. It's like you felt like you could not overcome this. You may still even feel like you can't overcome this, but you still allow this person something in you still allows this person to come in, right? And why? Because you already know you guys got a mission that you are called to work together is what I'm hearing. And Spirit is like, look, you already know what to do. Do what you love. You've planted seeds. You invested. Okay. Um, this person here, tell me, give me a card for the store. Yeah, so you got you got yourself a little situation going on here. So I definitely see, you know, where your apprehension is at. But there will be a very happy ending. Give me a card for the store. Yup, and if your person hasn't had a baby, I'm sorry to say, it may possibly be a third-party situation going on. But with a pregnancy involving if it's involved, if it's not you. Now, it says here, yeah, that King of Michaels, let me show you. Stay in your integrity overall, but this situation is going to cause call for you to have some honest and open communication with this person, okay? Use your wisdom. I feel like this person is coming in um, using wisdom and uh, objectivity too as well, but it's time to make a decision. <laughs> Still coming out. Be clear, okay? You have to make a decision, Virgo. What do you want? And then take action. Okay? What do you want? You go after it. Don't keep sitting back, being quiet, dwelling in this, worrying about if it's going to work. You know, embrace your inner child. If you feel like you the, the action you need to take is to step outside of this and go somewhere else to make new friends, then go do it. All right? But otherwise, it's either going to happen. You're going to embrace new people or you're going to rekindle with this person however it goes okay but make a decision what do you want and the universe is going to help you with that you have to ask for help look justice and the universe is going to help you with that you will get your justice but you got to decide what you want it can't be back and forth right you can't be like one minute oh i love you next minute i don't know i'm doubting this this person i don't i don't know you're saying it's like once you go ahead and say hey i forgive you right you can't keep holding it over top of that person here. Either you forgive them or you don't, right? Either you want them in your life or you don't, right? How is it going to be? You have to stay in your integrity, of course. You have to keep constantly speaking your truth and setting your your ground, your boundaries. But however, what is it that you want? Spirit is saying you're going to get the justice, okay? Once you decide. So don't give up, all right? Do what you love, Virgo. Peace.